Hello, good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. And um, I'm your financial emancipator, Malik. And I wanted to do a video today with you to talk about something that is kind of piggybacks on a podcast that I had um, last week. Episode 137 is about the pitfalls of the high earner in, um, in basically in, in living, living expenses and what happens to the high earner in paying more for their living expenses and the trap of it, um, particularly in large big cities and gentrification and things like that. So a lot of times, a lot of things that I talk about on the podcast and the videos um, and on the Facebook page, on the blog, has a lot to do with people who may be struggling to kind of make ends meet and people who may be having trouble with earning enough money. But there's another space to financial emancipation that needs to be spoken about that I haven't really found a lot of platforms that speak enough about it. And that is the struggle of the high earner. And uh, quite often, you see people, they're highly educated. They've, they've gone to school. They've gotten at least one degree or maybe two. They've kind of worked their way up. They're in their mid-30s to late 30s. They've worked their way up in their high earners. By high earners, in most places, you're still deemed a high owner, earner if you earn over $100,000. Now, $100,000 in New York goes very different than $100,000 in Atlanta or Cincinnati or Cleveland or someplace out in the Midwest. But at the end of the day, we can all kind of agree that a person who earns $100,000 or more would be considered a higher earner. Now, quite often those people, particularly if you're, if you're a single person earning that, is very different than if you're a family of four earning 100000 So we want to kind of contextualize this to mean that when I say it's a high earner, I'm talking about a single high earner, meaning one person who's earning over $100,000. And if that person partners up with another person, they're going to continue to be a high earner because that person will bring something to the table which will continue to increase their family income above $100,000. Now, again, like I said, $100,000 for a family of four is very different than $100,000 on a single person. But there could be a, p a potential for two people who are high earners who earn $100,000 to get together and become a $200,000 a, a year income household. Now, again, what happens to people a lot of times when it comes to being a high earner is that sometimes having more money does not make you better at your finances. Actually, most of the time, having more money does not make you better with your finances. I tell people all the time that you have to break, deal, and manage the habits that you have when it comes to your money. When you have $10 so that you can secure those habits and they will be able to be used when you have 10000 or 100000 or a $1 million. If you're bad with money, meaning you do not properly budget, you do not allocate, you do not stick to a budget, and you overspend, you will do that if you make $50,000 or if you make 100000 Many people want to live or are used to living. I won't even say want to live. They are used to living at the top of their budget because they had to do that when they had less money. So when they earn more money, they just continue to live up to the top of their budget. So they will have, if you earn 100000 they will get a, make sure they get rent that increases so that they, they pay right up to the 100000 that they're earning. They'll buy a newer car, more fancy car, more expensive car. They'll buy and run up credit card debt because they want to live, right? They don't want any space. Because if six months ago you were living with $50,000 and then six months from now you get to, you, you bring in $100,000, not much of your life has to change. But for a lot of people, it does change because they feel like, well, now that I earn more money, I should spend more money. And those type of habits that people have continue no matter how much money people earn. And so if you're a person who is, is earning fifty, sixty thousand dollars and all you keep saying to yourself is if I were earning a hundred, life would be easier. Know that if your habits are not any different, earning a hundred thousand dollars won't do anything to you but make you a person who earns earns a hundred thousand dollars who is still broke. Because there are a lot of people who are considered to be high earners. And I'm talking I'm using 100 as the benchmark, as the bottom, but there are high earners who are earning 150, 200, 300 thousand dollars a year who are broke because they have overextended themselves. So there are some people who can make 100 thousand and want to live to 150 because they don't realize or conceptualize because they have been maybe someone who always aspired to earn that amount. They don't realize that they need to still budget and stick to a budget and a plan. And, and that's a challenge for a lot of people if they don't in, in put in part those habits at a very early stage in their earning money. 
So you will see people who have are high earners with bad credit. That happens a lot. You will see people who are high earners who pay their bills late or don't pay their bills or don't, you know, run up credit card bills and overextend themselves. And it's very hard. It's a lot harder for a person who's a high earner to admit that they're having financial struggles because people on the outside cannot understand why a person who earns as much as they do can't pay their bills. And it's usually because they have too many bills. It's the same reason that most people can't pay their bills because they have too many bills and their bills exceed the amount of money that they bring in. They've overcommitted themselves. That happens no matter how much money you earn. And so when I'm speaking to the high earners, and if you are a high earner who struggles financially, understand that there is a space for you. The space is here. We're going to talk about that because everything is not just for people who are struggling to make ends meet. There's a lot to be had to be said about for those folks, and we can do a lot of work with that. But I don't want it to be missing this space for people who earn a lot of money and still can't get their shit together because that's a real thing and those folks are less likely to speak up and seek out help because they feel embarrassed that they are here earning all this money and and usually if you're earning a good maybe hundred thousand dollars you either worked really hard for that or you're working really hard for it so to be working hard and in, in some situations having um, student loan debt to accompany this hard work so that you could be this high earner and to not be able to really to have any substantial savings, to be living off of credit, to be keeping up with the Joneses. That is really a, a state of depression and anxiety that can go because you really don't feel like you can speak out because people are going to look at you and say, what the hell is wrong with you? You earn this much money. Why can't you have your shit together? Here's why. Because you did not take the time. When you were an earner of 50000 40000 or before that time, even before you even started to earn money, to develop, create, manage, and repeat habits that were going to have you be financially free. And when you don't have the habits, when you don't have the financial understanding, when you don't put, put, the, put forth the effort to manage your finances in a way that will be the best for you and create financial freedom for you, no matter how much money you earn, you will still be broke because broke is a mindset. Broke is a state of activities and habits that can happen no matter how much actual money you have. So you have to, if you are one of these people, if I'm speaking to you, if this speaks to you, understand that you are, you can st you need to do a zero based budget, you need to start over, and you need to eliminate some things. And it's a lot. It's very challenging for you, you, you. I'm talking to you. I know it's very challenging for you because you already have set up a set up a lifestyle. You've set up a way in which you expect to live, and other people expect you to live. And it's going to be challenging for you to do, to dismantle that because you feel you'll be embarrassed, you'll experience shame. But here, I'm here to tell you, don't be embarrassed. Don't experience the shame. Let that go. Because the only thing that's important here is for you to be financially free. And you cannot be financially free living lies. You cannot be financially free hiding debt. You cannot be financially free trying to keep up with a lifestyle that you, you believe you're expected to live because you're a high earner. When you are a high earner and you still can't pay your bills, that is even more frustrating, more detrimental to you because you have the resources. It's just strictly because you're not managing them properly. And so you need to, you need help managing them. It's okay to ask for help to manage those resources, to get your credit together, to make commitments and understand that you're in a better position than you could potentially be because you have the resources. Now it's time to manage them properly so that you do not end up in a situation where it won't matter how much money you make, you're getting evicted, your car is getting repossessed, your credit is in the toilet. You don't want that. So I'm talking to you. Because I know you're out there and we can have this conversation without any type of judgment about what you can do as a high earner to get your financial house in order. Get your financial house in order. Get to your financial freedom so that you won't just be a person who earns a lot. You'll be a person who's able to really and truly enjoy the fruits of what I'm sure is very challenging, difficult, and hardworking labor. So thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're watching this on IGTV, thank you for joining me. Leave a comment. Make, you know, just let me know what you think. And we'll be back another time to talk more about getting your financial freedom, getting financially emancipated, getting free from the burden of your finances. Have a great day.